Hey, Sean Jantz here, and I'm going to do a quick battle plan for Tuesday, February 7th, and I'm going to do it on slash ES, which is the S&P 500, and slash TF, uh, which is the small cap 2000. And every single evening, I always start on the four-hour chart. The four-hour chart's what I call the anchor chart. And as far as the, um, you know, as far as the day trader goes, you know, the four-hour chart's the most important chart to understand is what is our bias from this four-hour chart. Are we overbought, are we oversold, or are we at equilibrium? And so hopefully you watch Sunday night's trade plan. I mean, this was phenomenal. Uh, you're going to be able to learn how to notice this stuff and how to take advantage of market opportunities like we had on Monday's trading day. But last night on Sunday night's plan, I highlighted this for you and told everybody to like be ready to go. We are currently inside forming a four-hour candle sell trigger. It was so good. So, I mean, I type, I literally like literally um, pre-planned uh, Monday's trading day to absolute perfection on ES and TF because and it's not just because I'm you know I'm not smarter than anybody else this stuff is just really really easy to see coming make sure to go back and watch Sunday night's plan if you didn't because that was a you've got to be able to see this stuff four hour candle sell triggers is probably the most profitable pattern you'll ever trade because it happens often and it's really easy to trade but now here's the bad news and it's not necessarily bad or bad or good news but we got our trigger and we went literally right back to our middle blue keltner and back to the zero line so we are now back at what i like to call equilibrium right now we're not up here is over bought and then down here is oversold and then here is equilibrium we are now back at equilibrium so what does that mean that means tomorrow uh, we can be a bull and or a bear we just have to wait for strength we can be either or if you remember last night on sunday night when we were up here i'm like hey there's nothing to do on this chart but to sell it right that's very clear cut what to do in your trading day tomorrow we can be either or so you got to be careful on what to do but we'll, we'll plan we'll plan each way we'll plan to the up and to the down so obviously this chart will have plenty of room to slingshot back up to these highs so let's write that number down 91 uh, 91 to 93 and then of course this four hour chart has plenty of room to get through this middle blue Keltner and continue making its way back to that four hour uh, red support Keltner. Let's write that number down 75 to 73. So now we know we see the bias. We got our four hour candle sell trigger right there. Okay. Now we know we can be a bull and or a bear going into tomorrow. So now what we do is we move to our 15 day 15 minute plot chart. What we do here is we're just looking for structure. We're looking for the best places to buy, best places to sell. We're looking for support, resistance, supply, uh, and demand zones. And we need zero indicators for this. And, and what I like to do to keep things simple, I always start on the deviations and then I look left. So that bubble right there is all time high since the beginning of time. So obviously we don't have any structure on our plus one. We then got our plus 0.5 deviation. We look left, we will have structure. We got structured resistance. We got resistance, tons of volume, and then we had resistance, breakout, and then tons of volume, right? So obviously we can use plus 0.5 tomorrow as a potential bull target. And of course we can use that as resistance as well. And the number I wrote down here in my notes, hopefully you're taking notes along with me. I wrote down 91 to 93. Right here is our four hour resistance Keltner. So we're gonna have two POCs right there and then we got the plus 0.5 deviation. One of these is gonna be the target and the resistance on these bulls, right? So we're gonna be ready from here to here for a target and resistance. Now if we go lower, our minus 0.5 deviation, the number I wrote down, I wrote down 75 to 73. So that's gonna put me basically from here to here is going to be our bear target. This is our four hour candle support, right? So notice that we got our four hour candle resistance there. And then we got our four hour candle support right there. And then we just move into our smaller time frames to kind of see this stuff and to time our entries and our exits. So of course, if these bears want to do it, go ahead and break out. We'll use the minus 0.5 as our first target. And then I don't foresee this happening, but absolutely this could. Our long-term bear target tomorrow will be the minus one. Look left. We got support, support, uh, support, tons of volume, 
breakout, resistance, 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 tons of volume. So obviously 2271, right, 71 to 69, that obviously price will want to get sucked there. Look left, there's just tons of trading volume there for the last 14 days. So now what we do is we zoom in and we're going to pre-plan and draw every single trade before it even happens tomorrow. These are the only trades that I'm going to be making tomorrow, the ones that I'm about to draw right now. And I hopefully encourage you, these are the only trades you should be making as well. If you're losing money, then I'm going to go ahead and assume you're going just rogue and you're just you're being greedy, right? And you're not trading a plan. And so you need to make sure that you're recording yourself. Show me your plan and show me trading your plan so that I can help you. Do exactly what I do and then watch what happens to your success. I'm here to help guide you and coach you. Show me what you're doing. If you're struggling right now, show me what you're doing. Record yourself. You have to record. It's like, how bad do you want it, right? How bad do you want it? Record and show it to me and then I will help you. So let's first talk about if this chart goes higher. We have actually already started coming out of value and then coming back in. So if this chart um, we will have opportunities if this chart goes higher for an 80% rule. Here's an 80% rule. If price comes outside of value, then comes back inside and holds higher lows, right? You need to find higher lows, higher lows. There's an 80% chance that price will run up there and touch value very high. 80% chance. So for me to think that this is going to fill, we first got to get up above set and Tuesday's POC. Now hold our higher lows, right? So I want to enter higher low potentially maybe another higher low there. Then I'll use value area high as my first take profit. If you want to trade spreads or at the money binaries or traditional futures, maybe overnight, this could potentially fill overnight. Once we get there, it's now here's, here's the catch one if we go higher. We have three spots where we got targets and resistance and they're each literally about two points away from each other. So we're gonna have potential sell trigger here. So let me show you that picture here from the training. That's the number one way to profit from that box is to look for triggers there. So we're gonna have our first stop right there. Our second stop, okay, is going to be potential resistance into these POCs. And then our third stop will be potential resistance on that plus 0.5. So I get it, I know it's, I'm being vague. And it does, I'm not vague every evening. If you watch these, you know that not all the time it's vague. But when you got plots, two points, two points, two points, yes, it can get a little awkward if we go higher. I'm not exactly sure which one is gonna be the, where the bulls wanna go and where they're gonna stop. But one of those is where I'm gonna be looking for my triggers. So an example, do I look for my sell trigger at 2293? No, I'm only selling here, here, or here. That's, as, that's, that's, that's the power of creating a plan. Those are the only spots where I wanna be uh, looking for my triggers. We break up above the plus 0.5 tomorrow and I got nothing for you. Okay, price has never been really up here since the beginning of time. Now if we go lower, Basically, my line in the sand here is going to be 2284 for a, basically a breakout, right? So if these bears want to bust through 2284, now find lower highs, lower highs. We will then use our minus 0.5 deviation as our uh, first bear target uh, right there. So you can enter these lower highs, either traditional futures, at the money spreads or at the money binaries. You just bust through, now find lower highs, lower highs on the one minute chart, right? And then you use this as your take profit. Once we get to the minus 0.5, we will have potential opportunities, a potential opportunities to buy the minus 0.5. So touch the minus 0.5 and then look to enter maybe on a one minute higher low, right? And then if we get through our minus 0.5 deviation tomorrow and these bears just go ahead and bring the hammer, our long-term bear target tomorrow will be the minus one. So get through the minus 0.5, find more, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, and then use this as our long-term bear target. TP stands for take profit. So we know exactly what to do. I'm not too giddy about this chart tomorrow, I will not lie. Um, but. I know exactly what to do and more importantly, I know exactly what not to do at each single level of this chart. Now let's quickly move over to slash TF. Same thing on slash TF. I plan this like 
to absolute perfection. There was our four hour candle sell trigger that I told you was coming. Get ready for it. Go make as much money as you possibly want. It happened. Boom, right? Four hour candle sell trigger. We make our way all the way back down to the middle blue Keltner. Now we're basically back at equilibrium, right? So we can be a bull and or a bear tomorrow on this chart as well. We can slingshot back to the highs. Let's write that number down. We got plenty of room for that. 73 to 75. And then of course we have plenty of room to continue making our way back down to these lows. Uh, we'll write down 57 to 55. So now what we do, we know we can be a bull and or a bear tomorrow, right? Sunday night, clear cut. I said sell, like clear cut. That was basically my only plan was to look for sell triggers. It's, it's a little bit more simpler when it's clear cut like that. But now we can be a bull and a bear, so it's good and bad, right? We can go either way tomorrow and be confident about it. So now we move to our 15 day, 15 minute plot chart, and here's the deal. I actually like this chart better than ES's, and we're gonna look at this and you'll kinda of see why. Structure is actually a little bit better. So start on our plus one deviation, look left. That is basically all time, not sorry, it's not all time highs, but that's our 15 day high, so we can potentially use that plus one uh, as a long-term bull target tomorrow. There is, but, sorry, I gotta touch on this. You will see, you gotta be mindful that on um, Friday and Monday is we had resistance right there, right around 1379. So, and then of course we had resistance right there as well. Be mindful of that as we go higher tomorrow, okay? You're gonna have several, you know, inflection points that you're gonna have to watch for. But here's probably my favorite, in, in, my favorite plot tomorrow. Out of all the charts, this is my favorite plot. It's from value rate high to the plus 0.5 deviation in Monday's POC. And I just wrote down 73 to 75. Boom, right? You gotta love this stuff. This is my favorite, favorite target for tomorrow on all charts. We had a bunch of volume, volume, resistance, support volume, volume, resistance, resistance, resistance. Tons of, tons of structure at that level we can use this level tomorrow as a bull target and resistance, right? This is how you find edges. We got our plus 0.5 deviation, Monday's POC, four hour resistance Keltner, value area high, structure to the left, right? Boom. Uh, so if I get bulls tomorrow, I know exactly where they're gonna wanna go and I know exactly where potential resistance is gonna be coming to this chart or we use that as a breakout breakout, hold higher low, then our next stop will be the plus one. This chart's gonna be awesome if we go higher. I'm so prepared on this chart if we go higher, and you should be too. It's not that hard, right? Now if we go lower, we got value area low here, and then same thing as ES. As we go lower, we got plots scattered, right? And it gets tougher when plots get scattered, when they stack like this. We got Thursday's POC, Friday, and then we got minus 0.5, but the number I wrote down to the downside, I wrote down 57. I wrote down 57 to 55, and that's basically gonna put me on Friday's POC in the minus 0.5 deviation. I'm not gonna take this Thursday's and in, in Thursday POC in too much account. I'm more gonna be looking as this as a potential target for my bears tomorrow. Look left, just tons of volume, support, breakout, resistance, volume. You know, we had kind of a breakout, resistance, resistance, support, tons of volume. So see when you look left and you see structure and support and volume, right? We use all of that information as a potential target for bears and of course support coming into the potential on that chart as well. And then same thing as ES, long term, we'll have another target on Wednesday's POC. Look left, we had support, support, tons of volume, volume, right volume resistance volume and then we had support right there so we're going to have uh, inflection points from 1350 and then our next inflection points 1345 and the minus one deviation now look left on our minus one support 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 so we got inflection points on 1350 and 1345 tomorrow so bottom line is i actually like this chart better than the es's better structure and better inflection points and just a better value rate box as well same thing right so i'm going to zoom in and show you get up above set hold higher low okay if you want to potentially you know try and spread this up into these plots up here Use value rate high as your, as your take profit. Don't be greedy and wait for plus 0.5 in Monday's POC. 
As we go higher, I got sell trigger, sell trigger. So those are my two stops right there. Sell trigger, sell trigger. It's going to be somewhere around there. I'm going to be looking for my sell triggers there. Okay. We get up above plus 0.5. And then these bulls, I mean, if, if these bulls just break out like crazy, now, now you use that as support, right? Higher low, higher low. Don't forget, you got some resistance right there. And it's going to get a little awkward if we break out above that. I won't lie. It'll get a little awkward. So I'm just going to tell you that up front, right? Hopefully, you're able to spread that up, make some money, and then you can, you know, the whole point of this is get your initial move. That's some good change. You'll make $100 to $500 just spreading it from there to there. Call it a day. There's no reason to keep trading and giving it back. It's stupid. If we go lower, potential buying opportunities right off of that value area low. Let me show you that picture here. That's the number two way to profit from that box, right? So right there, value area low can hold a support. And then we'll basically use value area low right there. We're going to use that line right there as our breakout for these bears. Get through, now hold lower highs. Then, of course, we're going to use Friday's POC and minus 0.5 deviation uh, as our spread target at the money binaries or spread target uh, down there, right? So an example, where do, you, where do you trade binaries tomorrow? Right here is then I would sell binaries right there, right? I'd sell in the money binaries. Price goes up to that plus 0.5 and I see a sell trigger. What I'll be doing is selling in the money binaries right there. How do I trade spreads? Right there, I trade spreads and then I take my profits right there and I put my stop loss right there. Where do I trade spreads? Get through, now hold lower high. Lower highs, lower highs, spreads, right? Put my take profit right there, put my stop loss right there. Where do I trade binaries? Right there. And then I can potentially look at some in the money binaries right there. So see, see how it works? Whether you want to trade spreads or binaries, I got you covered for everything. So comment if you have any questions and please make sure that you're recording everything you're doing and take pictures of all of your trades and post them in the chat room so that you get feedback from me and from others.